Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today we're gonna to be checking out the stock transformer of the SM57. We're gonna be putting that part into the Pile uh, 57 mic -like microphone. The actual name of the mic is the Pile PD Mic 78. Uh, it looks just like a 57. It sounds a lot different though. I got a message from one of my friends, Scotty, and he did this experiment where he put the stock transformer into the pile, and he's saying it's really close to his 421 on toms. In fact, it's his new favorite tom mic. Well, I like a 421, and for the cost of the parts for the pile and the stock transformer, you know I gotta try this one out. Okay, so I just wanna say a big thanks to Warren over at Zen Pro Audio. I hit him up for some stock transformers of an SM57. He has a service where he replaces the stock transformer with a really nice transformer. In fact, we've seen this on the show, the Funkin' Work Transformer. So that's really cool of him to send me these parts, but uh, I was hesitant on doing this video until I found a source that you can actually just buy the transformer easily. Um, I found one and it's linked below in the video description. So my friend Scotty said, dude, you gotta try this out. It sounds amazing on toms. I figured, okay, it's worth a shot. It's really cheap parts. I think the pile mic goes between 11 and $15, depending on where you buy it um, here in the US. And then the transformer, I think, is another, it's a similar price range, $10, $12, something like that. So let's say about 25 bucks, uh, you can get a pretty decent mic. At least that's the theory, and I'm gonna test it out today. So my friend, uh, he said, man, this sounds amazing, and he actually sent me some files. Uh, so first up, we're gonna take a listen to his files. I love this, I love that I'm not the only one doing these experiments and stuff. Uh, so first up is the 421 from his studio, and then the second example is the pile with the Shore Transformer from an old 57 inside the pile. Let's check it out. Okay, pretty interesting. The pile actually just knocks it out of the park. I mean, that sounds amazing compared to that 421. So I was expecting a little bit better out of the 421, um, but I thought, yeah, like from the test that he's done, wow, like that pile sounds amazing. $25 microphone to get that result. Sounds amazing, I gotta try it. So. Uh, so yeah, I had a couple different uh, transformers from an old 57 that uh, Warren from ZenPro sent me, and I went ahead and put it in the two pile mics. The, uh, the PD mic 78s, they don't have a transformer in it, which is part of the reason why they're so much lighter than a real SM57. And so uh, there was plenty of space to put it in. Uh, you just had to get it in there. I had to do a little bit of uh, kind of reverse engineering just to make sure they kept track of what wires were connected to what pins on the XLR. Uh, so I just made sure to, to note which one was pin two, which one was pin three, and that gave me the information on which side of the capsule was positive and negative when I hooked it up to the 57 transformer. So from there, I hooked up the uh, transformer, wired it up just as I usually would, and assembled it, and I was good to go. So here we have it. We have the, uh, the stock pile, then we have the pile with the shore transformer in it. Uh, we're also going to show you just the stock 57. There's also my Funkin' Work 57 thrown in there. It's still pretty close to the stock, but you'll get the idea of just a regular 57 sound. Here it goes, the stockpile is up first.
Okay, really interesting. It's almost like the pile was bright on its own. Okay, we kind of already know that. It's a really bright mic. And then the stock shore transformer from the 57 put in that mic. It almost like it took out some of the lows and actually brightened it up. Let's go ahead and compare um, the pile mic with the transformer. And let's compare it to the 421. So we've already uh, heard my friend's test, but this is my test. Okay, so again, you know, we see a difference in the mids. We definitely hear a difference in the low end. The 421 has more lows. The pile has better highs. Perhaps that what we that's what we need, maybe in a mixed environment, but we're missing those lows. I wouldn't say that they're a poor man's 421. Um, they're still very different mics. There's lots of factors here as far as what makes a good mic and what uh, kind of uh, skews your perception on how good these mics perform in a shootout. Um, so it's really hard to judge a mic just by this. I just wanna put that out there. So anyways, that's the drums, but I wanted to kind of throw this in as a bonus. I've been doing a lot of filming here for one of my courses on miking and recording guitar cabinets. And I had done a lot of, uh, you know, different shootouts with mics. One of them was the Pile PD Mic 78. So I have that from the course that was filmed on a different day. Uh, it should be the same amp settings, but these three examples are done today on a different day from the stock pile. So just keep that in mind. Stock pile was done on a different day. Here are those same four microphones on guitar cabinet. <laughs> Okay, so again, somewhat predictable from the results we saw on Tom's. We have the pile mic. It sounds pretty bright compared to the stock 57. The 421 sounds brighter, more kind of pointy and punchy, and the mids and upper mids compared to the stock 57, but not as bright as the pile. And then the pile with the short transformer in it, it kind of takes out some of those lows. It's almost like a high pass filter on it. I can't say that I really like the sound, but hey, this is just how it performs. Uh, so again, um, there's probably more we could test. There's tons to explore here. So I'm kind of not surprised by this, but I'm still optimistic on what can be done with these mics. These mics are so inexpensive, it's pretty impressive how good they actually sound for 10 or $15. So I'll be following this up with probably more experiments in the future. But again, you know, it is a cheap mic. You get what you pay for. I still think the 57 
really wins out. You know, there's more to a sound than just how clear it is. Keep that in mind. Love to hear what you think of this. Be hanging out in the comments below.